Usually, Lev Ponomaryov spends his days in the office fighting for human rights. He helps those who've been unjustly imprisoned get released. But today, his desk is empty. Ponomaryov himself has been taken into custody and faces 25 days in prison. The government accused him of using Facebook to incite protests supporting imprisoned activists. Here, he is supporting parents who are organizing a demonstration for the rights of their daughter, who's been accused of extremist activities against the state. This accusation was formulated with the help of the Russian Secret Service. At least that's what Oleg Elanchik and his colleagues think. That's why they're here today. The 28-year-old didn't think he would ever have to help his boss get out of prison. Alanchik sets out to where Lev Ponomaryov is being held. Here he meets up with Ponomaryov's lawyer. We will file complaints. We hope that the court will correct their mistakes in the second appeal. Representatives of human rights organizations have come to the prison in a show of solidarity. The government wants to scare activists and those who go to events where people fight for human rights. They say the process is politically motivated. That's why they're fighting it with political as well as legal methods. Many people are visiting him and bringing him things that he needs in prison. We're also going to the European court to protest his imprisonment. They plan on doing everything they can to help Lev Ponomaryov get free. One of the first reactions came from Mikhail Fedotov. He is the head of President Putin's Human Rights Council. Fedotov criticized the verdict, which he called inexplicable. Amnesty International and other human rights organizations condemned the imprisonment of Ponomaryov as well.